I've been testing quite a few things out this month. I have quite a lot of favorites to tell you guys about from a ton of different categories. But the first favorite I'm gonna tell you is, sorry, I, you know what? I actually think these things are so annoying, like hair ties, and they cut off your circulation. And I just felt mine cutting off my circulation. So I'm just gonna take that off and get back on track here with my first favorite which is a human favorite and it is a girl I met recently. I've watched her videos for quite some time. I think she's amazing. Her name is Mimi Icon. Guys, I'm in love. It's true, I'm in love. I am obsessed with her. When I met her, I became more obsessed with her. She has the best energy, she has the best aura. She's just such a positive, happy, smiley, bubbly person and you just can't help but be like so drawn to that and you it kind of affects you in like a nice way. I just love that about her. She makes videos on YouTube. I'll link her channel below. You guys have to go and subscribe. She does a ton of things. She does favorites videos, some style videos, a lot of advice kind of videos. I'm just completely obsessed with her. I'm going to touch on her again throughout this video because there's something else related to her which you guys will see but i'm just oh god the love is real guys so if you want to love her as much as i love her because you will love her i'm going to link her channel below make sure you go and subscribe okay so i have quite a few makeup faves i don't know where to begin i'm like clutching them all in my hands i'm going to start with what's on my lips right now this is charlotte tilbury very victoria it's her Matte Revolution lipsticks. I think I mentioned one of these in my favorites last month too. But basically because I saw, who did I see using this? I saw Kim Kardashian on her Instagram. She had like a Instagram video and she was using Very Victoria. And I ran to my stash. I don't think I'd really dabbled in it that much. And I tried it on because normally I'd find this would be a bit too brown for me but I love it. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's super creamy, but it just, it, it's just a really nice sophisticated brown. But over the top of that, I have this L'Oreal gloss now. L'Oreal recently reformulated these glosses and brought them out and they're amazing. They have a lot of different textures and stuff, but this one I think is the creamier one. Oh, the stickers fell off, that's useful. Oh no, it hasn't. Yeah, this is the creamy one, it's 103. Protest Queen, it's like a really milky nude color and I've just kind of dabbed that in the center of my lips. Seriously guys, check out these glosses if you like gloss because even the applicator is like kind of shaped where you can just like press it on your lips. These glosses are the bomb. So I have another matte lipstick and it's from Urban Decay. I think these are new as well. It's called the Matte Blackmail Lipstick. It's basically black. It's so, so dark. It's definitely one of the darkest lipsticks I own, but it's really creamy. I have a matte color similar to this but it dries out my lips so bad and then I get like those crusty bits of lip while I'm wearing the lipstick basically so it just looks like little you just kind of want to pick it because it's like a little crust of black because I'm wearing this like matte black lipstick and it just it looks so gross anyway this lipstick doesn't do that because it's really creamy but it still gives that like kapow really gothy really black effect um it is quite a hard shade to apply so I do end up having to like touch it up a bit with a lip liner and Another thing from Urban Decay, which is also new, is the brow beater for brows, obviously. <laughs> Um, it's their eyebrow pencil and it's really super thin. It has a little comb on one end, which is actually a good comb. Don't you just hate it when you have like eyebrow pencils and the comb is like crappy? It's like, what am I supposed to do with this crappy comb? Anyway, but this is a really nice shade for me. It's the shade Taupe. It's kind of a waxy consistency, but it lasts ages on my brows and it's quite subtle at the same time. I don't find it's giving me two, you know, bold brows, like, that are just there. I think MAC eyeshadows are some of my faves. I just always reach for my MAC eyeshadow palette, even though I have similar colors and whatever elsewhere. I just find that I can always rely on my MAC eyeshadows. And they brought out this, like, night. I don't know why I'm, hol I'm holding it like this, and there's not even a mirror. It's just, like, instinct, so that the mirror doesn't reflect off my <laughs> lights. Anyway, it's the Amber Times 9 eyeshadow palette. Now, I just want to show you that this palette is literally, like, the size of the palm of my hand hand even though I don't know if I have big hands or not you can tell me but I still think it's like quite a small palette especially for nine eyeshadows so I think if you're I'm doing it again I'm doing it again I'm hiding the non-existent mirror I think if you're traveling and you're constantly on the go or if you just love palettes you'll like this one because 
it just has quite a few different shades. You have like four mattes, one kind of sheeny, two kind of sheeny colors, and then three kind of glittery shimmers. You could just can get a really nice, easy, neutral look with this. And I think this is a great kind of day to night one. My first skincare favorite is this facial cleansing device by Foreo. It's the Luna. First of all, it's pink, which is so cute. And you turn it on from the middle. I don't know if the micro is gonna pick up its vibrating and you can kind of make it vibrate faster or slower. And it has these silicone bristles at the top. First thing I wanna say is the silicone bristles are non-porous, so they kind of resist the bacteria, which makes this brush 35 times more hygienic than your average cleansing brush. Just something that really normally puts me off cleansing brushes is that I know the germs are like hanging around. So the aim of this tool is to basically remove dead skin cells and unclog pores which I definitely find it does, especially I always get clogged pores here around my nose. I guess that's a pace I kind of neglect when I'm cleansing. So I kind of like shove it in the sides of my, <laughs> my nose and it really helps unclog those kind of areas that are quite tough to cleanse. So Ferreira actually sent me the day cleanser and the night cleanser to go along with this. I actually do always use different cleansers in the morning and evening because I do need different things at those different times. This is described as an awakening radiance yogurt. First of all, it smells amazing. It's a really nice kind of refreshing scent to have around your face in the morning time. I put a couple of pumps of the cleanser on to my Luna and then I work that around my skin and the yogurt kind of turns into a nice kind of frothy texture. It makes such a difference. It adds a really nice plump effect to my skin, especially when I've kind of had a late night staying up watching Netflix and my skin's kind of looking a bit that cluster it just like adds the kind of plumpness back into my skin and then the night cleanser is described as a celestial melting gel I just think that sounds so luxurious and nice like the name would suggest it has like a silky gel texture and it kind of turns into this light milk this is aimed to kind of detoxify the skin I find it leaves my skin feeling really clean and really fresh very kind of prepped for whatever nighttime moisturizer I'm gonna be applying so these are exclusive to Selfridges so I'll have a link below for you guys as well as all the other products I've mentioned in this video. I have this very funny little serum here. It's a glow radiance booster and it's kind of yellow and it comes in this little pipette. It's a super, super thin texture. I was like, radiance booster is such a strong statement to put on a bottle because that's something you notice in a second. If it's like declogs pores, that's kind of like an overtime kind of statement. Whereas like radiance booster is like, I want that radiance and I want it now. So when I put this on my skin, I was like analyzing it in my close up five times mirror like are you giving me radiance or are you not because if you're not then you're being scooted and booted seeing as it's in the favorites I think you can guess what the final decision was it's almost as if like I have a gray layer over my face of like a really light dust or something and it's almost like the serum just like takes away that gray layer like almost like a rubber or something it's so weird it's almost kind of magical a little bit I only need about one or two drops because that covers my whole face speaking of nighttime I've been using this Vichy skin sleep cream cream in the evenings. It's this kind of like funny pink gel like consistency. It's like a really easy fuss free boost for my skin. It's a great nighttime moisturizer for that transitional like autumn, summer, autumn, winter kind of like awkward phase where you're not quite sure if your skin's dry or if it's dehydrated or if it's looking nice or not. I don't know. It's just one of those products where if you're not sure what your skin's doing, you can rely on this because it just hydrates but it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. It's really light. I only have one standout for hair this month now. Oh my gosh can't believe it took someone this long to come up with this kind of product. It's the Heat and Shine Spray from Batiste. 230 degrees Celsius heat protection. Now, this is my problem, guys, okay? So I let my hair kind of air dry and then it's kind of awkwardly curly and awkwardly straight and blah, blah, blah. And then I either curl it or straighten it or whatever, but I curl it and straighten it when it's dry. So if I'm using like a wet heat protector, my hair gets kind of wet and then I have to kind of wait for the heat protector to dry and then it makes it a bit kind of all awkward, blah, blah, blah. So a dry heat protection spray, like look at that. It's basically, it is dry. A dry heat protection spray is just what I need. I did used to use one from Oscar Blandy, but they discontinued that or they stopped stocking it in Sephora. Basically, if you straighten your hair or curl your hair, 
when your hair is dry you need this because it's the bomb. I have two books to show you this month. Now the first one is this Calm book. Oh gosh, even I just love this book so much. It's basically a book to make you feel more calm and I would kind of describe it as like a activity book. Like you can kind of dip in and out of chapters that you want. It has little tasks, it has really cute quotes, it has like amazing stories. I love this one, this is my favorite page. It's the digital detox page. It says like keep smartphones in your pockets when meeting friends, no devices in the bedroom. And I've really tried to like, not totally nail this out, but now I'll really try and like not touch my phone during a meal, which I wasn't very good at before, which I know is such bad manners. No devices in the bedroom, so I've been trying not to bring my laptop into bed with me. And then it has pages that you can actually fill out and it's just really interactive. I think everyone could kind of benefit from this book and the next one I'm gonna talk about as well. I have bought this for quite a few friends this month. And the next one is something Mimi and her husband created. Mimi, who I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and that is how I kind of found her and became a big fan, basically. <laughs> this is the five minute journal. Oh, guys, this, I can't tell you how good this is. How I see it is basically a journal to kind of train your mind into thinking positively and always seeing like the silver lining, so to speak. So every day it takes five minutes. You have a morning section and an evening section and you have three sections of the morning. You have to list what you're grateful for, what would make today great and daily affirmations. And then in the evening you write amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today better. I love this so much. I think this is something that I've really tried to do the past year or maybe two years now is really kind of train my mind into thinking more positively. And it's such a beautiful journal as well. It's such a pleasure to use and like keep by your bed. So I'm gonna link both of those books below because I love them. The next one is a top. This is the top I wore, I think in like an autumn favorites video recently. And loads of you guys asked where it was from. I bought it from ASOS, it's from Free People. And it has this gorgeous like mesh, mesh. Oh my God, TBT to mesh mesh lace <laughs> anyone remember that or oh, not really just me okay mesh <laughs> how many times am i gonna say it mesh lace detail at the top and then this really kind of flowy bit at the bottom it's so beautiful i love the color i think it's such an autumnal color and then my next favorite <laughs> whoa what was that hair flick i was like woohoo okay is this by alona necklace oh it's so beautiful i think by alona has got to be one of my top jewelry brands ever i think everything she makes is so beautiful i love the kind of pop of color in the middle as well guys i think that's everything we just rolled through that favorites like a rolling train so i hope you enjoyed it the thing i've been most dedicated to this month I think is Instagram so don't forget to follow me on there because I've been posting way more than I usually post on there so if you want daily updates you can follow me on there or snapchat as well because I am just showing too much I'm showing too much on snapchat people okay I did this post the other day this snapchat post about like behind the scenes on Instagram and what actually goes down when I'm taking an Instagram and guys I think that was oversharing anyway now I'm rambling so it's officially time to go I hope you've had a wonderful month and I will see you in a couple of days time with a new video bye Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Be healthy. Oh, thank you. So, oh yes please, thank you. And yeah, so we've just had a bunch of stuff that doesn't go. But 